The U.S. seems to have fast-tracked its sixth-generation fighter jet program, also known as next-generation air dominance in a bid to outpace the U.K. and France-led programs. While the U.S. has already flown a prototype of the GAT, the U.K. is working on its sixth-generation aircraft Tempest, which once ready, will join the Royal Air Force, Swedish Air Force, and Italian Air Force. France, Germany, and Spain are also working on a similar program, called Future Combat Air System that will eventually replace Eurofighter Typhoon, Gripen, and Rafale. In the US, the F-35 Lightning II will continue to serve alongside the new aircraft well into the 2050s and beyond while the F-22 Raptor would be retired. The sixth generation combat aircraft will have the following features and capabilities. It will be capable of performing manned, remote controlled, or onboard artificial intelligence controlled missions. Enhanced human system interface, with a virtual cockpit which allows pilot 360 degree vision with OE enhanced battlefield awareness. It would have advanced digital capabilities including data fusion, command, control and communications capabilities, high capacity networking, variable cycle engines, directed energy weapons such as a laser, ability to control drone swarms and other unmanned aerial assets carry new generation air-to-ground and air-to-air -air munitions. U.S. leads the race as the GAT system is expected to be fielded in the early 2030s followed by Tempest in 2035 and Franco-German Spanish jet five years later. However, U.S. Air Force and Navy have fast-tracked the program and the American defense aerospace industry would design, develop, produce and field a new aircraft in five years or less. This is a capability, which the Europeans are clearly lacking, and highlights the technological gap which exists between the US and Europe. The first combat aircraft to be built is the GAT system, the prototype of which flew in September 2020. The GAT program entails rapidly engineering a small batch of aircraft by multiple companies akin to the Century series of aircraft like the F-100, F-104, F-105, and F-106 of the 1950s. The aerospace industry has come a long way since then and it now possesses the capability of building an aircraft from scratch and putting it in the air in five years or less to counter evolving threats now and in the future. GAD will be a family of systems, with a sixth-generation combat aircraft at the center of a networked system likely to be paired with unmanned escort aircraft missile trucks among others.